That OnlyFans model that tried to set up Alex Pereira has been a complete failure. <clears throat> it's went completely left for it. Didn't work out. Didn't didn't happen the way she she thought it was. You no, know, didn't didn't plan out. Didn't happen the way she planned it out to. She's getting exposed left and right. It's not going well. So we're gonna get into it today. Even even her friend that was there with her that light that night it says she, says she's lying. Her story just continues to unravel, and it it continues to get worse and worse and worse for her. So we're going to dive into that. So for those of you who don't know, what's going on is this OnlyFans model went out with Alex Pereira and whatever they hooked up. Now she's coming back a few months later and trying to say that she was great right <clears throat> and but there was no police report her her story doesn't make sense it doesn't add up it doesn't line up at all <clears throat> and now she's getting exposed as the liar she is she needs to be sued for defamation because these and we're these these allegations can absolutely destroy men Alex is lucky because there's just so much evidence on this person that she has no credibility. You know what I'm saying? So exhibit A, this chick's an alcoholic, you know, um, or it seems like from this video, it looks like she likes to drink a lot. You know, I'm not going to call her alcoholic because we don't know, but it looks like she likes to drink a lot. She's a, a party girl. So which we could tell by her her profession but there's so many red flags with this girl she seems like she's not telling the truth seems like she likes to drink a little bit too much and it seems like she's a manipulative liar that's what it seems like and i'm saying that for legal reasons but in my opinion, that's what she is, a manipulative liar who likes to drink a lot and is looking for to get a quick come up off of a man like Alex Pereira, a guy who turned his life around from being an alcoholic to a world champion, a man who has one of the most incredible careers in MMA recent history, a man who is just on the grind, a hardworking, good man. You know what I'm saying? And she's trying to tear that man down. Let's look at the facts. If someone did something brutal to you and violated you, I'm no, I'm no Nostradamus, but I'm pretty sure you would go straight to the police and file a, a report if you were violated like that. She didn't do that. OK. She's the OnlyFans model, which which the type of content she makes is this type of content. You know what I'm saying? You could go to Twitter. I'm not going to give her no love and give her. No, stop buying OnlyFans chicks things. Stop promoting this nonsense. Her claims are baseless. There's no proof to anything she says. Also, with her own story, she said that she's the one who put it in, right? So it's just a whole weird thing, but she can't basically if I was Pereira, I would I would sue for defamation. And I think that's what he's going to do. And that's what he should do. You know, we cannot keep keep letting these chicks get away with these false allegations, ruining a man's career. It's happened to so many successful men, right? So she came out with a uh, um a rebuttal today, her third video. So let's look at that. Um, I wrote a statement that I would like to share. I'm not sure if a lot of you are really going to care or even listen to what I have to say, but we don't, we don't care. We don't care. We'll listen to what you have to say so we can, we could chop it up and, 
and uh, expose you, but we don't care. I just wanted to say it. And um, I wrote it down because my brain is just on overdrive these last couple of days. And I just wanted to make sure that I said everything that I wanted to say. All right. So I want you guys to take a look and look very closely at her eyes and her face. She looks like she has no soul. She looks like there's just nothing really going on in there. There's just no soul. You know, there's no happiness, right? And I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys this girl who made some false charges on a on a on just an innocent, completely innocent guy. She didn't like the way the guy looked, made some charges on him. Now look at her, look at her eyes, look at her demeanor, everything. It's very similar to this, to this chick, to this OnlyFans model, right? So real quick, and for the people who think that uh you know women don't lie or just make up random stories like this, listen to this story right here. Action News is attempted rape charges dropped against a man wrongfully accused after he's Action News is attempted rape charges dropped against a man wrongfully accused after he spent more than a month behind bars. Tonight, a 20-year-old Bucks County woman says she lied about the attack after police said her story didn't add up. Action News reporter Caroline Goggin is live in Middletown Township, Bucks County, with the full story. Caroline. Well, Rick, this is a story we reported on a month ago, and tonight I spoke with the attorney who represents the man who was accused of attempted rape and kidnapping in. Crazy charges, crazy, crazy charges, right? Especially for a man who didn't do anything. That That is insane. In this grocery store parking lot, that attorney tells me that that woman's story never added up and that the update in this case is better late than never. 41-year-old Daniel Pearson is home with his family tonight. Out of jail after the Bucks County DA says he was wrongly accused of attempted rape and kidnapping. This is the woman who accused him of those crimes, 20-year-old Angela Yuromova. Police in Middletown Township said Yuromova called them on the night of April 16th, claiming a man grabbed her in the parking lot of the Red Nurse off Lincoln Highway and attempted... Just a completely innocent man got his life destroyed and had to pay, spend a month in jail for something that he did not do. These chicks who do this should get charged to the fullest extent of the law. Seriously, it needs to stop. It needs to stop. Because even if, you know, everyone knows he's innocent, there's still a weird energy a weird scarlet letter on this guy right he did nothing wrong to, to pull her pants down while he carried and pulled her back toward his truck Yuromova said she was able to break free and that he drove away police used a license plate reader system that spotted a similar truck nearby they tracked it to pearson and he was held at the bucks county correctional facility on one million dollars bail a new complaint now states Daniel Pearson was charged with multiple felony offenses and remained incarcerated for a total of 31 days before Yuromova admitted to her lies. The complaint states that shortly after his arrest, officials received information from Pearson's family that warranted further investigation. So detectives reviewed surveillance video and found at no point in the video did Pearson's truck travel. <sighs> Imagine that she just she admitted she lied after 31 days. It's mental illness. It's real mental illness. I think some of these chicks are just they hate men. Truly, I think they hate men. You see it a lot in chicks who are strippers, OnlyFans models, sex workers. They hate men, and they think every man should be subjected to this type of allegation or pain just to get just to get some of the pain out of them i don't know but with you guys stop messing around with these strippers and these sex workers because they hate men and this girl i don't know anything about her but i'm gonna say 90 percent chance she's some type of s worker probably
travel through any part of the path Yuromova claimed the vehicle took. Yuromova was called to the DA's office for questioning last Thursday, and because of more inconsistencies in her story, she was called back in on Friday. That's when the complaint states Yuromova admitted that she had lied about the entire incident and that no assault occurred. Take a look and read that. Read it. And the worst thing about, you know, this chick just lying blatantly is her reasons why she did it. There is a lot of hate towards men right now. Testosterone is lower. Men are being hated on. It needs to stop. It really needs to stop, you know, and um, this is the reason why this chick just decided that it would be a good idea to lie on this dude. Yuromova said she had seen Pearson and his truck before in the parking lot of her old job and that he was, quote, creepy. All charges against Pearson have been dropped. So she fabricated an entire story because she just decided the guy was creepy with great power comes great responsibility i think you know some of these chicks figure out and find out that they have a lot of power being able to just make up a story and ruin a man's life and they with these narcissistic chicks they get off on that you know there's a lot of narcissistic women out there nowadays and a ma the majority of them are in s work strippers only fan models, they're demons, you know, they're demons. So that brings us back to Mary G, the chick who made these allegations on Alex Pereira, the champ. For the people who feel like, why would someone ever do that? Most people are normal, so you would never do something like that. But there are narcissistic people and sick people mentally who will do stuff like this, you know? I'd like to start by saying that although I don't owe anyone an explanation and it's Alex who should be explaining himself, I recognize- Nah, you owe us an explanation because you're a liar and we can see through it. We can smell through it. We're sick of these me too. You tried to drum up a me too. You, you thought that Alex would have some, some skeletons in his closet. So you tried, you fabricated a story. In my opinion, you fabricated a story and you hoped that other women would come out of the woodworks, but the opposite happened. Alex Purr's ex-girl came out and was like, he would never do something like that. All these people are vouching for him. You tried to destroy a good man and it, and it backfired. And I made it a public matter when I shared my story on TikTok. And even though I was not anticipating anything that happened after I posted those videos, it's now become a lot more of a public matter than I was expecting. However, this does not scare me because I am not lying and I have nothing to hide. Yeah. The biggest question I'm seeing is why didn't I file a police report? Why didn't you file a police report? Because if you would have filed that police report, you would have had to back up everything that you were talking about. And when they would have found out that you were lying, you would have been in deep trouble, like the girl that we just talked about, that I just showed you. There's a lot of vindictive women out there, you know, there just is. And when she, if she would have made a police report, they would have went through discovery. They, she would have just been exposed quick and she would have been in big trouble. You know, she, did, she didn't think that it could ever, that it was going to backfire on her. Unfortunately, I know firsthand how fucked up the system can be, and I wasn't sure I was ready to go down that route again and cause myself any further trauma. Growing up... Just the ultimate victim. The ultimate victim, right? That's, that's this thing. She's 21 years old. These new kids coming up, these new adults, these young adults, they're, they're just victims, right? Especially, they, they just want to be victims. That's so bad. So, so, so they'll fabricate a story. I remember 
wishing so badly that the world could hear my story and I thought that maybe they would care more than the authorities and somehow help me and my siblings and save us from the abuse that we were enduring. Pause. So that's what this is. So a lot of times the truth or the lies are wrapped in truth. She wants the world to hear her story. She wants the world to see her. She wants the world to give her that pat on the back and she wants to be treated as a victim and adored and loved, right? Because she doesn't get that anywhere else in her life. But she did it and she's trying to achieve this through destroying a man because she hates men. Because she has to degrade herself every day to get a buck on OnlyFans. Therefore, she hates men like the strippers. They got to go out there. They might make five G's in a night. They got to shake their ass. They got to go up there and do their thing and pick up the money off the ground. But at night, when they're looking, when you're looking in the man in the mirror or the woman in the mirror, and it's just you and your soul, and you're looking at your life, the depression sets in. You know, and that's why they hate men. That's why they hate men. That's just me psychoanalyzing. That's me breaking it down and trying to figure out exactly why someone would do something like this and make up a story and ruin it for the people who actually go through uh, real things. You know, this is like stolen valor, but in in a, in a victim way, you know, stolen victimhood. After giving up my entire childhood to a long drawn out court case against my biological parents and convincing an entire jury beyond reasonable doubt that my mother was guilty and getting her sent to prison for her crimes. My father was able to make it all go away and get her out only months later because of his position of power and his money. I don't know nothing about that, but I'm just assuming you're a liar because you're, you, you seem like a compulsive liar to me. This chick is wearing a cross, but she does OnlyFans and she doesn't just do OnlyFans. She does only fans, you know what I'm saying? Like hardcore stuff, you know? So I, I did some research. I did my research. I'm not going to come in here and give you guys half-assed content. I, I did my research, you know what I'm saying? But she she does hardcore stuff. She's a, com a compulsive liar, it seems. All my life, I've been watched. I've, I've been watching... All my life, I've watched as my abusers got away with their crimes simply because of their wealth and position of power. So, if it keep if if you keep finding yourself in this type of position, the problem is probably you. All right. Now, some people are going to look at that and be like, "Oh, she looks innocent. She looks this." I'm going to go back to her ex and remind you of who she really is. I quote, sometimes I wish someone would subscribe to my OF and buy one of my BJ vids and leak it so the whole world knows I'm a star. I quote, I have the worst oil fixation and I'm trying not to smoke. Whose blink can I blink on? This one here, this one here is the most telling. These chicks, the S workers, their Twitters is like their diary. So they, they do tell their, their deepest thoughts. And this right here is exactly what she tried to do to Alex. She says, me and who? That was what, June 18th. We should talk in person. I need closure. Sure. And then she blows the dude's brains out, right? They hate men. You know, there's, there's no there's no two ways about it. I think this next one, this next one is. So. So let me get this right. Let me get this straight. I've never seen somebody have so many 
so many traumas, right? This chick has a million traumas. It's disgusting. She just she she disgusts me. I would just be honest. She she disgusts me, and not just because she's a S worker, but to just lie, which what what it seems like she's doing, just to lie like that, and just to she has nothing to offer but but S, and she's not even hot. You know what I'm saying? It's disgusting. If you guys think she's telling the truth, you say it in the chat. As someone who grew up a ward of the state, I guess I'd say I have enough experience to have lost a little faith in our judicial system. With that being said, if Alex does decide to take this to court. Now, see what she did there? See what she said there? She's already setting it up. Like if she loses, it's because the judicial system is not good, right? Someone who is a victim, I don't think they they talk like that. That's very calculated and premeditated. Someone who's a victim is not going to premeditate that. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't add up. It doesn't add up at all. I don't know why he would do that because he knows he was guilty. She's hoping that he doesn't. Now, I've never seen a victim if you're truly a victim, you you would be like, yes, let's go to court because you're gonna get exposed. Only if you're if you're not a victim and you're worried about this the discovery process in a defamation case, that's a whole nother thing. You know, you you made your bed dying. You know what I'm saying? You made your bed dying, and hopefully you learn from this lesson and you become a better person. Get off OF, maybe go to church, you know what I'm saying? Get your life together and fix yourself. This could be a very, a very uh, good lesson. And when I say make your bed dine, I don't mean literally. I mean figuratively. If he does decide to take it to court, I'm fully prepared to prove beyond reasonable doubt that he did in fact prey on me and he did assault me. There's no, there's you, you won't be able to prove that without a reasonable doubt because there's just so much evidence against you that and you're you're clearly you're, you're clearly being manipulative. Like secondly, I'd like to address the fake DM that's being reposted where I allegedly brag about doing this all as promotion for my job. That DM is not real, believe it or not, I have more self-awareness than that. I don't believe that. You don't believe that. We can see it in your language. You see it in your body language. I'm sick of hearing this chick talk. So let's get her out of here. Let's get her out of here. I'm sick of her. Get her out. Right? So <clears throat> you go on YouTube and you type in fake allegations, woman found on fake allegations. You'll see video after video after video pop up. Woman lied about assault. You see here, woman lied about robbery, kidnapped, and attempted sex s assault. Woman lying about a man attacking the parking lot, parking lot. Innocent man uh, freed from jail. Somebody suggests indigenous woman lied about s assault. Woman accused trying to cops of s, s assault. She denies she lied about it. There's so many stories. And this page goes on and on and on and on and on and on. That's why I believe all women is a joke, you know? <clears throat> not, not everybody is mentally stable. Some people have get a little bit of power and they want to just destroy people's lives. And I think this chick tried to do the same to Alex Pear, a hardworking man, a man who became a champion, a man who overcame his alcohol addiction, a good man, you know, a champion in the sport, a champion in life. And it's disgusting for you to try to not work hard in your life and just latch on and attach your name to someone successful like that. It's disgusting. You guys stop stop supporting these only OnlyFans models, OnlyFans models, these S workers, stop supporting them. Period. Let me know what you think in the comments, chat, you know, 
light this chick up. Let me know if you've had any experiences like this, because I would love to hear that. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.